All too familiar, an LA City Council member indicted on corruption charges. This time, it's Corin Price who faces an uncertain future after he was charged with perjury, embezzlement, and conflict of interest. The people in his district are also wondering this afternoon who now will represent them. That's right. KCAL News reporter Jasmine Veal has more on the latest scandal and reaction. And then we have awards and various assembly certificates. William and his wife Vivian Bowers own a dry cleaning business on Central Avenue in Council District 9 that's been in her family for generations. On their walls is also a photo of LA City Councilman Curran Price. That's my father-in-law with Curran Price right there. He is an integral part of our our community and our business. But Price's accomplishments here in his time in public service are now overshadowed by the 10 counts of embezzlement, perjury, and conflict of interest just filed Tuesday. This is disheartening, it's disappointing, and you know, we kind of are looking for direction. So I think it's important we get somebody as soon as possible. I'm saddened and concerned about the impact that this news uh, may have on the people of the 9th District. LA City Council President Paul Krikorian introduced a motion Wednesday to begin the process in the next week to vote on whether to suspend the longtime councilman who would still remain a council member but not be able to exercise the powers of the office. On Tuesday, Price called the charges unwarranted but said he will step down as council president pro tem and surrender all his committee assignments. He was not at the council meeting Wednesday as the public spoke out. Another one bites the dust. For the second time in less than a year, a, a scandal has dethroned a member of council leadership. Price was born and raised here in this district that he has represented since 2013. But if there is a suspension, there was another motion presented today to seek input from the people living here on who they would like to represent them. I would like a vote. I like it for, for it to go to the community. I don't want someone assigned to us randomly. That's why Krikorian says the suspension process this time as opposed to the past will be slower and more calculated. Bauer says no matter what, they will carry on. We've been here for 70 plus years. We've been through riots, redlining, economic ups and downs and COVID. We've been through multiple council people. Guess what? We're still standing. In downtown LA, Jasmine Veal, KCAL News. Well, that suspension motion now goes to the